did it? No, 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 no. <sighs> Just something from the past. I know about the treatments. What are you talking about? Evidence of your shock therapy treatments. They showed up in the brain scan. What? You don't have to hide your past from me. Look, you don't have to tell me what happened. Not if you don't want to. I've never had shock therapy treatments. Do you think I'm crazy? No. No. I... But the pictures. You're going to believe some x-rays without even getting a second opinion? Without even asking me first? I don't know why all of this is happening to me, but for some ungodly reason, there's been a mistake. You have to believe me. Michael. Believe me. Laura Daniels? Yeah. Yes, we have the entire series. Merry Christmas. Um, is there a particular volume that your little girl is interested in? I don't have a little girl. It's my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? <laughs> right. It's this way. <laughs> well, assuming that she's older than 12, I would think your lady friend might find the Laura Daniels books a bit unsophisticated. I mean, have you thought about Raymond Chandler? Or an Agatha Christie. No, you know, see, it's kind of a joke. See, my, my girlfriend's name is Laura Daniels. I think she'd get a kick out of this. You know, if you say so. Um, they're right here. All of these? Yeah. Well, we carry the entire series. All 17 volumes of the Canadian Nancy Drew. Well, it's, you know, it's also the season. Laura Daniels from Canada? Yeah. She's from Montreal. It's quite a little busybody, too. But, you know, my favorite as a kid was always Cherry Ames. Well, take your time. In here, damn it! Well, I've never liked you. Oh, really? Well, that's a bizarre coincidence, don't you think? Kind of boggles the mind a bit. Parents, Jack and Molly, father in the Foreign Service, every job you've ever had, every story you've ever told me. It's all in there, word for word. How do you explain that? I don't know. I've never read these books. You didn't read them. I don't think you'll find any surprises, though. It reads like a damn diary. I am Laura Daniels. I'm Huck Larry Finn. You know, I would have bought that up until today, but I'll tell you something. I think there's a much simpler answer. I think you've been lying all along. And I'll tell you something else, whoever you are, you're a damn good liar. All I know is that you're a good liar, then why didn't I change my name or something so I wouldn't get caught? You tell me! I don't know, Michael, don't! Where are you going? Where are here? you going? I don't know! Michael, maybe there's another explanation about the Ouija board and the Hi, now, hold it. That's the topper. You know, that why? really fits. Why? Laura Daniels and the mystery of the Ouija board strangler. Michael!
there? Is anybody there? Will you tell me who I am? Fifty-fourth precinct, Sergeant. This is Lord Daniels. I'm at the Hampstead department. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Where? So this huge guy jumps back on the big buffalo. He saddles him up, beats heat out of town. Bartender says, "Where are you going?" The guy just stares at him. Says, uh, "Hey, I ain't hanging around here no more." <laughs> big John's coming. Hey, Lucas, hold up a second. Yeah. We got an assault in progress. The Hampstead, the Daniels girl. Tell her I'll be right there. We got a man on the way now. Hello? He's breaking in! Mm-hmm. He'll be right there. Don't worry, ma'am. 
Goodbye. Yeah, I'll be right there. Right after I get a cup of coffee. What a night. <clears throat> I'm not insane. I went to the library and I checked out the Ouija board messages that Cindy got. There was a murder in my apartment. There are no spirit messages. There were no yes, ghosts. There was, there was a girl. It was Mark's sister. She was a witness. So we can go to the police and track her down. We need help. From the police. We'll talk to Roger. We'll get you a specialist to help. We're not going to go to a doctor. The police are not going to believe you. I'm not taking a chance. What about you? Are you going to come with me? Or are you too concerned about your legal reputation to get involved with a crazy woman? I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't get it all the first time. I explained then. it already. Now, what does all this have to do with ghosts? Oh, come on, Lieutenant. Give me a break here, huh? I just wanted Would you, uh, call my office and sit down, please? Thanks. Look, I mean, uh, this broad don't exactly have both oars in the water, if you know what I'm saying, okay? Okay, honey. <clears throat> Tell the man. Mark, the spirit that I conjured up on the Ouija board is the same Mark Banning, whose corpse was found with the skull crushed in the fire. Uh-huh. And this guy's ghost came back from the grave to chase her all over the city, through department stores, uh, swimming pools. You sound a little jumpy, Lucas. You want a cigarette? No. What else, Miss Daniels? The message left by Cindy about the boy David. I don't know how it fits in exactly yet, but... Cindy, the, uh... the girl who's supposed to be dead. Yes. Mm-hmm whose uh, body nobody's found yet, and uh, whose supposed murder you witnessed. You, who, by the way, don't really know who you are because your whole past seems like it's made up from some uh, kid's detective books. Look, I need you to track down that girl, Jennifer Banning, who was in my apartment when Mark was killed. She's the only one that can help me. Mark, the ghost again. Well, I think I've heard enough. Ghosts and Ouija boards, 